say I've got another clothing haul for you. Woohoo! I feel like I'm doing loads of clothing hauls at the moment, but it's just because obviously we've got change of season, summer coming up, so I've just got a lot of stuff to show you. This one is definitely more like a summer, or not even summer, like holiday. I basically got a bunch of stuff off Misguided for my holiday. I'm going to Ibiza next week. By the time you're watching this, I may already be there. I don't know when this video is going out. But um, I just picked up loads of stuff from Misguided for my holiday. So it is definitely more holiday orientated or just like summer in general. Although some pieces, obviously I've got some denim jackets. Kind of summer, summer in the UK, maybe not summer abroad. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble, let's get straight into it. First up, I got this super cute, this is definitely for holiday, black like mesh long maxi skirt. And um, this is definitely something you're going to see much better on here because it's quite hard to show you like this. But the one thing I do want to show you now is it comes with pants in it. So it has pants like inside. So it is completely see-through, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Can you see that? That there's pants in there? Maybe? I don't know. Um, but yeah, there is pants inside. It's really, really nice material. Quite weighty and really nice, like, chiffony material. Um, it does have an elastic waist. I got this in probably a size 10. Let me just check. Uh, oh, I got, I got this in an 8. Hmm. That's weird. Wow, that's really weird for me to get this in an 8. Yeah, it's definitely an 8. Oh, strange. I got this in an 8, apparently. It fits absolutely fine. I didn't even realise it was an 8. It is elastic, so I mean, it's going to fit anyone, really. But I would definitely wear this. I haven't styled it here, because I think... Let me know what you think. I think when I go to Ibiza, or when I'm in Ibiza, I'm going to film a lookbook, and some of this stuff's probably going to be in it, because obviously I'm taking it with me. But I would definitely wear this with a belt, because I don't particularly like showing the elastic waistband. So I'd wear, like, a nice chunky buckled belt over the top. So, yeah, let me know if you want to see that video. Um, because I would do that while I'm there, so it'll be more of like a, how I style the items and how I put outfits together in like an actual lookbook, like what I wore, like what I legit wore in Ibiza, you know? Anyway, I really, really like this. I will leave everything listed below so you can see it on your foot, so you can see it for yourselves, like on the models and get prices and stuff. But yeah, I really like that, and to me this is like a must-have for a summer holiday because it's so easy just to shove on whether you're going to the beach or if you want to just like shove something on a little bit sexy in the evening <laughs> um, and then the next thing I got was actually this top that I'm wearing now which you probably can't really see right now um, but you can see it better here because I've put it on with this skirt so I thought I might as well show you this one now um, I love these kind of tops right now like I've got quite a few of them I've purchased a lot I think I have like maybe four but I really like these like tie shirt looking ones. Some of the ones I have are just shirts. You can do this kind of style with just a plain like shirt. Um, but this one obviously is designed to be like that. So it has got the ties. I really like the print of it and the colour. It's kind of tie dye. Well it is tie dye. Um, the majority of the colour I'd say is kind of this khaki stone colour. Really really like it. Love this look for the summer so much. Like with denim high waisted shorts, a nice chunky belt. Like this is right on my street. I love it. Okay, so next up I got two denim jackets. The first one I got this one because to me this just screams Ibiza and I just really wanted it. Even though it would probably be too hot to wear a denim jacket, I just really want a photo of this and I really want it to be in my lookbook because it's so freaking cool. I would definitely wear this obviously in England as well and it would be absolutely perfect for festivals. So it's a plain denim jacket at the front. It is quite long line, but it's got this amazing gold like metallic tassel detail like all across the back and the arms. How freaking cool is that? The jacket itself is amazing. The jacket fits so nice. It's quite, it's not thin, but it's like almost feels worn. So it has a really nice hang to it. And it does have distressing on it, which is done really well. Like I really like the frayed detailing on the bottom. Obviously you can see it better on, but I absolutely love this. To me, this is like the purchase, like so nice. I did get this, I think, in a big size. Um, oh no, I got it in a 12, which is what I would buy a standard jacket in because it did say it was oversized anyway. So yeah, I just got it in a 12 and I absolutely love it. It's just, to me, it's such a good statement jacket and so perfect for festivals. Like, you can get more festival perfect. But if you're not into the whole tassel jacket thing, because I know it might be a bit much for some people, then I did also get this 
get this. I did also get this plain denim jacket, which I've actually rolled up the sleeves because I have worn this like about four times and it only arrived, well, no, that's a lie. It arrived two years ago and I've worn it every day. So I've worn it twice. Um, but again, it's a really nice worn feeling denim jacket. It's still thick denim, like it's not thin by any means. It's definitely a like a jacket, not a shirt but it just feels worn, you know, and it's got really, really nice distressing on it, and it's got like this detailing on the bottom, where it's got like a, almost like a second hem, um, it's really oversized, it's almost like patchwork, like it's got different, different, um, shades of denim, shades, different, yeah, like different colours of denim, like this bit's obviously light, and then it's got like a dark bit there, it fits super, super nice, I got this also in a size 12, they did also have this in a black, like a washed black and a white. I really wanted the black, but it sold out by the time I got there. Um, to be honest, I'd, I would want the black, the blue and the white because they fit so perfectly. It's long, but it's not too long. It's baggy, but it's not too baggy. It's soft, it's worn, it's distressed. It's honestly, if you're looking for a denim jacket, this kind of vibe, this is the denim jacket for you. It's so nice. Next up, I've got another kind of cropped shirty kind of top, although it doesn't actually tie. It's this white one, so it's just a, a crossover, so it doesn't actually tie, and it's got an elasticated waist bit here. Um, the thing I like about this one so much is the sleeves. Look at these sleeves, like how cool are these? They're like proper bell sleeves, but they've got like pom-poms on them. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> um, I do wish again that this was more like a shirt so I could tie it but it looks the same really it's like no different and super cute for holiday like in the evening with a nice maxi skirt or high-waisted denim shorts I feel like I say high-waisted denim shorts all the time but honestly on holiday I live in high-waisted cut off Levi's like vintage ones you know um yeah super cute white top for the summer it's that kind of cheesecloth fabric which I actually really like um, yeah, so I really like that. I got that in a size 12. Actually, that's quite tight for a 12, I would say. I don't think that looks particularly baggy, so bear that in mind if you want to purchase that one. Okay, I've just dropped everything on the floor. I had it all nicely done on hangers. They weren't matching hangers, but I thought it would be easier to show you if I've got it on a hanger. So I was, like, prepared, but I've just dropped it on the floor, so great. Anyway, so the next item I got, which is probably one of my favourites, if you watched my last misguided haul, I actually got this dress in black, but it was a bit big. Do you remember the popper dress that I was like raving about, because it's like an IOMI dress? Um, so yeah, I got it in black, but I got it in a 10, and it was big, like the 10 was big, and I am a 10. So I went on the website to try and exchange it, or just get an 8, but they'd sold out. But then I saw they had it in white. So I've got the 8. This is a size 8 in the white popper dress. Oh my god, this is so perfect for summer. Like, so this bit obviously goes off your shoulder. You can see it here, it definitely fits way better. It's still not super, super tight. So I'd say if you're an 8 and they've got a 6, then I'd probably get a 6 because it's super, super stretchy. But to me, this is just like the perfect summer dress. I'd wear it with biker boots and like a denim jacket. And I think it would look super, super cool. I did style the black one similar. Um, but I really love the white. I really like white at the moment. I never used to like white ever, but now I really like white. I just always get a bit scared to wear it because I think I'm just going to spill something on it because that's the kind of person I am. But I'm really trying to branch out there. <laughs> so I love the white and it just fits perfectly. It's really nice material, really thick. And then sticking with the like button down, popper down trend because I'm just loving it right now. I also got this dress, which to me is the perfect. I keep saying perfect summer dress, but it's all just very summery, you know? Um, so I got this grey, it's actually button down, which I love. These really small little buttons. It's really nice thick bodycon material. Super, super soft, and it fits perfectly. What size did they get this in? This is also a size 8. Am I now an 8? Nah. <laughs> Who are you falling, Cash? <laughs> um, I just seem to have bought a few items in an 8, but I think it's just because a couple of the things on there came up really big last time, so I just went with an 8. Um, but again, this is stretchy, so like it really doesn't matter. But you can see it fits perfectly, it fits like a glove, and that's exactly what I want in a dress like this. You don't want it to be baggy, you want it to be tight. And it's just such a nice dress to just shove on. It looks super cute with trainers. Denim jacket again, I wear denim jackets pretty much everything. So yeah, super cute, I absolutely love this. 
In fact, I wonder if they had other colours in that grey one, because I'd really like that in white and like navy and black. Mm. Okay, next up I got two items which are really out of my comfort zone. Not something I would normally wear, but because I was going on a holiday, I thought like these are more holiday appropriate. Um, so this one is a romper or a play suit. Why did I just call it a romper? That's what they call it in America. And I don't know why I just said that. It's a play suit slash romper. Um, it's this really nice burgundy red colour, which I do really like. It's got floaty, floaty. Oh my god, it looks super red in there. In real life, it's very burgundy. It's got like floaty sleeves and it's got like a drawstring waist with ties. And I really like the shorts. That's the bit I liked the most. Um, you can see like they're kind of frilly edge and they're quite short. Again, it's like that cheesecloth material, which I really like for summer stuff because it's really cool and like light and airy. It's off the shoulder, which again, I'm loving right now. And I just thought it was super cute. It has got obviously this tie bit around the waist, but I probably would wear a chunky belt with it as well. I think this kind of thing is a lot more flattering if you wear like a chunky belt with it. So I definitely would do that. And it's really nice. I got that in a size 10. And then the second thing I got, which is really out of my comfort zone, on a really disgusting hanger, I don't know where this hanger came from, um, is this white dress. And it's got this lace-up detailing here, which is super cute. It's got really oversized kind of bell sleeves. And it's all flowy at the bottom, and I feel like a little girl when I'm wearing this. You can see on here, totally something I would not normally buy, guys. Like, you know me, this is not very tashy. Um, because for a start, it's a dress, like a floaty, girly dress. I don't do that usually. But I'm just really into it right now. I don't know what's happened to me. But I would still put my edge on it. Like, I would still wear it with biker boots, for sure. Like, I would not be going out with this in, like, sandals. Like, at all. Like, even flat sandals. No, no, no. This, to me, I have to wear it with biker boots. That's the only way I'm going to like this dress. Um, but I actually really love it. I think it's super cool and pretty. It's, like, quite boho-y, which I believe is quite boho -y, So I actually love it, like, so much. Um, this I got in, I think this might have been in the petite range. Oh, no, this is the tall. Oh, that's why it's longer. That's annoying. Damn it. Darn it. This is from the tall range. They must not have had my size. My size? Um, you know sometimes they do petite and then they just do nothing and then they do tall. They obviously didn't have it, which is why I've got the tall one. Um, it is in a size 10 and the fit is fine. It is just a bit longer. It is longer than I thought it was going to be, which I was a bit like annoyed about. I wanted it to be short, you know. Um, so that would explain it because I got it in the tall. I mean, tall is five foot seven and over, and I am five foot seven, but I'd rather it was shorter, because I think it would look cute if it was shorter. So that's a bit annoying. There's not a lot I can do about it. I couldn't take it up. It's not really that kind of dress. Anyway, I still really like it, and I'm probably only thinking about it now because I've looked, and it's the tall category. But they probably have more in by now. They restock all the time, right? So I'll leave it down below, and I'll leave the tall one. And if I can find the normal size or petite, then I'll get that one as well and link it for you so you can see it. I'm sure you can just find it yourself, but it just makes it easier, you know? Um, so that one. And then lastly, I got this top, which I actually didn't try on, purely because... I don't really, like, my boobies will pop out. Um, I haven't really figured out how to wear this yet, like, what to wear underneath. But it is this mesh body. It is Polonex. This isn't really that summery, but it's definitely festively. And it's got stars on the nips. <laughs> I just thought it was super, super cute. I did take a photo with it, which you can see here, um, which you would have seen on my Instagram. I think I already put it up. By the time you're watching this video, it would have already gone up. So you would have seen it on there. It's very risque. And I mean, you could totally wear a black bra underneath. But I just don't think it has quite the same effect. Um, but also it depends on how big your boobies are. Because my boobies aren't like, they're not huge, but they're not small by any means. So I think for me, it's just a bit like, like when I move my arms around, you could totally see my nips, you know. And also this is a 12. I don't know why I got it in a 12. I don't know if they were sold out. But it's a bit big, so it doesn't stay in place that well. Whereas if it fitted me better, like tighter, it obviously would. Um, so I could change it, but I've already worn it, so I can't change it. It's a body, that's rank. But it's so cute, right? I absolutely love it so much. It's so cute and so good for festival. And also just for photos. <laughs> It's really cool for photos. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, so that is everything I got in my recent holiday misguided haul. Let me know what your favourite item was and if you've got any holiday plans, let me know in the comments down below. Because um, I really want to go away like loads this year, but I feel like I'm slacking on booking. So obviously I'm going to Ibiza, or I'm in Ibiza when you're watching this, but we don't really have much else booked in stone. So yeah, let me know where I should go, because I love travelling, so let me know. But that's everything for this video guys, I really hope you liked it, give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.